Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Shelly's Millions. As you know, once you get a notification from the California EDD requesting ID verification, you have 30 days to submit your ID documents through ID.me. I want to walk you through how to confirm you've properly uploaded and shared your ID documents with the California EDD. Please make sure to properly like this video and share it with anyone who might find it useful. We're now approaching the 30 day mark from when many of you may have received the message in your UI online account requesting ID verification and were sent the ID.me link. Here's how to check to make sure you've done everything needed to share that documentation with the EDD. I know it's frustrating and you may be tempted to wait to upload your documents especially if you need to speak to a referee. And that wait time is over five hours, but please don't put this off because if you miss that 30 day deadline, you may need to wait even longer to get your account cleared for payment again. Unfortunately, if you don't get the information to the EDD within that 30 day time frame, and you did not provide a request in writing to allow more time to complete the process, you might see the word disqualification where you would normally see the word pending or paid. If you see the word disqualification on your UI online homepage, you're gonna wanna do those four steps that I usually recommend. The first is try calling the EDD, but it's so hard to get through that usually you'll need to do the other three steps, which are ask them a question through Ask EDD, use the Contact Us feature, from your UI online homepage to send them a message and email your local assembly member. I always prefer email, that way you have a paper trail showing what date you reached out to them and I will link that in the description down below on how to contact your assembly member. It's possible that even if you do all four of those steps, if it already says disqualified on your account, you might have to file an appeal. I want to try and give you guys the best information possible to avoid needing to file an appeal because that's a lengthy process to begin with and they're backed up as well. It's taking anywhere from as few as eight weeks to as long as six months if you need to file an appeal. So I don't want anyone to have to go through that. To make sure that you've done everything you need to verify your identity, this is how to check according to the EDD, and I'll link that in the description down below as well. And I'm gonna take some screenshots and put them up on screen to see if you have successfully shared your information. One, visit id.me and sign into your account using your email and password. Two, click the sign in and security tab. Three, when prompted, select and complete your preferred multi-factor authentication method. Four, in the left navigation area, click Privacy. Look for the Website's Granted Access section pictured below and see which websites are listed. If you don't see a website you expect, one, return to the partner website and sign into your account. Two, when prompted, enter your ID.me credentials. Three, be sure to click allow to share your information with the partner. And in this case, the partner is gonna be the California EDD. If you verified your identity for state unemployment insurance without the assistance of a trusted referee and see a screen like the one below, your identity has been verified and your information has been shared with the appropriate state agency. ID.me says you're all set. Unfortunately, they don't show an example of what this should look like if you did the process with a trusted referee on ID.me. Once you've confirmed everything is properly shared with the EDD, they have said that it should only take about seven to 10 days for your account to be updated. That's faster than the 30 day timeline they gave some of our assembly members. If it's been more than seven to 10 days since you uploaded and shared your information with the California EDD, it might mean there's another issue on your account that requires further action on your part. Like if your benefit year is over, you may need to try and file a new claim. 
or if you've answered the weekly certification questions in a way that makes the EDD need to put your account into review or flags it, the EDD may need to schedule a determination interview with you. It is possible to have more than one issue on your account at the same time. So if you've successfully submitted your ID documents and it's been more than seven to 10 business days, it is worth following up with the EDD to make sure that they're just waiting on your ID to clear. I had actually heard that there were issues in getting the information to the EDD from ID.me. So I decided to tweet the CEO of ID.me to see what he said. So my tweet said, there's rumors that ID.me is behind on getting the information to the EDD. Understandable if that's true, but since the EDD isn't clear with us, is that true? How long after we're verified on your site until the EDD gets it on average? And his reply was, the EDD gets the data instantly for new claims and within 24 hours for existing claims. There is no delay on our transmission of data to our partners. He goes on to say, the EDD does have to manually update each existing claim that is verified on their side and therein lies the processing delay. I know a lot of you were trying to get a head start on uploading your ID documents and you went ahead and you went to id.me and you uploaded your documents before the EDD had sent you a link, but that's actually listed as one of the things that can cause delays to the ID verification process. Um, so I'm just gonna go over what the EDD said could cause issues in your identity being verified on time. Submitting an unreadable photo. And the tip that I've heard for when you're photographing your driver's license is to use a dark background. So if you have a dark coffee table or even like a dark colored pair of jeans, that might make a good background to take that photo on. Submitting a phone number that is not associated with the individual's name and address. This is happening to a lot of you who are on family plans. And the tip that I've seen to help with that is to use a desktop computer or laptop computer, basically anything but your phone, to complete the ID.me verification process and then to not use Safari as the internet browser. If your credit report is locked, frozen, or contains erroneous information, and normally I would recommend locking your credit report. That prevents people who aren't you from opening accounts in your name. But if you've been asked to do the ID.me verification process, you might wanna consider unlocking or unfreezing your credit report so that that doesn't cause you issues with this. And then as soon as you know everything is good and you're getting paid again, lock it right back up again. I think there might be a little typo in this, but the last thing that's listed that can cause problems with ID verification is individuals are already verified identity with ID.me or had an error or typo on their submission. I had previously made a video instructing you guys not to call the EDD if you received the notification that you needed to do ID verification, but they hadn't sent the link yet. And that's because at that time, the link wasn't ready yet. So the reps were still sending out the DocuSign link. But now if you call, they should be able to add the ID.me link to your account and not the DocuSign one. The reason why ID.me is better is because even though that's taking a long time, DocuSign takes six to eight weeks to complete. So that's gonna be a much longer process if you get that DocuSign link or if that's how you verified your identity originally. Not everyone needs to verify their ID, so you would really only need to call the EDD about that at this point if you received notification that you needed to verify your ID, but you were never sent the DocuSign or the ID.me link. I feel like probably most of you that are still watching my videos are still unemployed, but if you guys could please share this next part with anybody that you know that was on unemployment and they've gone back to work or for whatever reason they're not collecting benefits anymore, please let them know this part. It is important, even if you're no longer collecting unemployment benefits, to check your UI online messages and see if they have requested identity verification from you. 
if they've requested that from you, you still need to complete that even if you're not collecting benefits. Otherwise, they could decide that you were not eligible to get benefits this whole time. They could send you an overpayment notice and then you would need to file an appeal to try and get that waived. So please share that with your friends. And the reason why I'm concerned about this is the EDD said that they sent out 1.1 million claimants notices that they needed to verify their ID, but only 367,749 have responded. Um, so that means about every two out of every three people that were asked have verified their ID. The EDD has even said that that means a large portion of the people who they requested ID verification to be completed have not even opened that message. So I encourage your friends that have not been collecting benefits in a while to check their UI online messages. If investing money was one of your goals for 2021, I've got links to both Robinhood and Weeble in the description down below. And if saving is one of your goals for 2021, I've got that Yada Savings Bank link in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching Shelly's Millions. I'll see you next time.